Hello all and welcome to, this is 3B aka number four of the Israeli and Jewish Music Affinity Group meeting. And this is part two, which is a high holiday special, as well as um, some of the duets and various collaborations. Okay, so slide number one. And feel free, use the chat all you want. I, I, in between the videos, if you know, if you want to say something or whatever, you know, I'll try to answer questions in between. It's fine. It works. And it's kind of like, that's how we, we kind of work it out. So I love it. Um, all right. So I'm Jason and throughout 2020 to the present, I've been learning, presenting and enjoying some of the best Israeli music created from the 1950s to present day. And I'm always looking for other videos and, and um, media sites to, to go scour through. But YouTube seems to have a lot of it, a lot of that stuff. So in December of 2022, I was featured on Israel Hour Radio, episode number 1141. It's through WRSU Radio. And there, if you go to... Um, Israel Hour Radio on the internet. It's a podcast and a bunch of and a bunch of great people that we love to collaborate all the time. There's a Facebook group that goes with it. And that's what kind of said, hey, you know what? I want to do this. And that's why I started this uh, affinity group to and it so everybody can enjoy everything. So that you, if you want to hear that podcast I was on, you can go to myisraelimusic.com or on Apple or, or Google, find the, uh, the podcast for Israel Hour Radio. Okay, so you don't have to understand the words to be able to enjoy the music. A lot of this, I don't understand a lot of the words. I just like the rhythms. I like the music, and and I like some some of the topics of some of the songs. So there's various apps and websites available at your fingertips, and one of them actually I'm showing on the screen there is called R Live. It's a radio station that you down. It's an app that you download on your on your phone. And you can listen to is Israeli radio from all, all night long. And my favorite time to listen is Friday mornings um, because they have all they play all these old and classic songs that everybody used to love and enjoy. So they do that throughout Shabbat because they don't have a DJ sitting there. So they set up a recording and, all, and almost all the radio stations do that. So excuse, please excuse the advertisements, et cetera. There probably won't be any because I figured out a way to avoid some of that with, by using um, some of the Google Slides and that sort of thing. So, so all the music, um, pl please all, all the music um, presentations and even more fun can be found for free at my website, jasonhecht.com. If you forget the, for the link, just, you know, visit jasonheck.com and there's a dedicated page with all the playlists and all the and all the fun things. I don't ask for money or anything, but if you want to donate, you're welcome to. And if you're well and you're welcome to donate to the FJMC as well. And some of the artists or videos might have offensive materials or words. If you do see something or hear something in any of these songs, please don't be offended by it in any way. In Israel, much of, much of the of the offensive language is, is actually in the songs. I actually heard that on the radio before too. And there's so much music of, and video of, uh, available. It would be wonderful to share in the future more interesting content. And if you have anything special, like uh, like a great idea for for a for a show or anything for something you want me to present, please feel free to reach out. I'm I'm happy to uh, to answer and and go through all right so this is the this is like a little sample of my website and how to how to sign up basically you just go to my site it's free create a login and i approve everybody to, to go in there and then and that that's what will be there all right so let's get started so the the first one here is this is that's rita and david broza and in 1994 Rita was looking for material for her new album, Big Love. And for this purpose, she met Shlomo Yadov at his home to play songs. 
he composed and arranged for her. Yadov played her some, some pieces that she didn't like. But before she left his home, Shlomo played a song he wrote when he was 13 and a half years old. When he was 13, he wrote a Spanish poem called Como la Luna, Hebrew like the moon, which expressed longing for a girl he loved in his country of origin and longing for his country of birth after moving to Israel. And in part of the song, she's saying she wants to fall on the sword or die for him. And the, the, there's a what really great Israeli dance to the song. And after I was reading all about the song, I realized why there's like a trust fall in the dance. And, and so now that completely makes sense. So let's start with this really interesting clip of David Broza and Rita singing. You know, David, this audience and your playing makes me want to dance. Ballet. Right. Okay. Ballet, yeah? Ballet. Wapa. Bye. Bye. 
כן, תשבור לי את הלב עוד יותר ועוד יותר. So that was Rita and David Broza. And I'll tell you, they if, if you ever get a chance to see any of these artists in, in a concert somewhere, go for it. That's all I got to say. Because David Broza is fantastic, by the way. So this is Mommy Levy and Gali Atari. And the name of the song is Shemesh Aduma. And a couple little facts about um, Levy and... I learned about it by just reading about, about him. He basically participated in the dubbing of many of the cartoons, including Video Power and the Power Rangers, um, as well as many of the Disney films, um, including singing the Hebrew version of the Tarzan songs, originally sung by Phil Collins. So, um, and Gali Atari is famous for her singing group, Honey, that went on to also win the Eurovision Song Contest in 1979 for a very big famous song, Hallelujah. And Gali Atari is Mommy Levy's aunt. And these two have worked together for a very long time and the Atari family helped Mommy Levy with a lot of his musical career. Okay, so on the screen here, you see Shlomi Shabbat, and you're going to see a lot of him in, in, in a lot of these videos for because a lot of the collaborations were done because he has a an album and a bunch of albums called Shlomi Shabbat and Friends. And with Shlomi Shabbat in this video is the Hava Band. And Shlomi is a super popular artist in Israeli music. Zahava Ben is an Israeli singer and one of the most popular Israeli female vocalists in the Mizrahi music genre, which has been dominating Israeli music in the 1990s and popular ever since.
You see, there's a picture of me over there with my wife, Elaine, and that's Sagiv Cohen. And in 2018, my wife and I were able to witness this magical event that happened at a, an Israeli dance camp. This little clip is about 45 seconds, and I'm going to talk about the song later on, but I just, you just have to, have to understand that this is like the magical thing that this guy does. He, he sit, sit, stands in the middle of a circle usually and people dance around him while he's singing. And it's just awesome. That's just a little, that's a little sample of, of the magic that he has going for him. Okay, so the song that I have found of, of him singing is with um, Yarden Girafi. And she's a wonderful singer and artist. She's joining Sagiv Cohen singing a song, Eliyach. And Yarden works with the best artists in Israel. She's, she is a singer in the project for Idan Rachel and a lot of other songs today are also written and 
produced by Idan Reichel. So um, she was she was a member of a military music band, and and also was on the Israeli reality show A Star Is Born. And I found this clip a while back, and and I just love hearing Sagiv Cohen uh, singing the song. I I don't have any of the lyrics. That's that's unfortunate, but eventually, hopefully, somebody will will find them and put them out there for us. They, they weren't really sitting by the beach somewhere because that, that that's a it's an interesting backdrop i'll say that all right so this is one of my favorite things here we go we're getting there this is the 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 these guys are called zehuzet it's a, actually a tv show 
It means this is it. It's a long running Israeli entertainment television program. The original show's length was, was about an hour and was broadcast live. The original format included information segments such as rock music, news segments, and a riddle segment for, for the audience to answer by phone. In March of 2020, IPBC announced plans to revive the show as COVID-19 pandemic uh, show special shows. So the, re the renewed format includes sketches on various topics and a closing song, usually a cover version for, for an Israeli classic by the show's cast. And as of June, 2022, the show is into its fifth season in its revival format. And today I, I have three Zahu Zeh songs in today's presentation. The first one is the, is the theme song just recently put out on YouTube back in back August 8th of 2023. And then we'll move the I'll move along to the next slide. Vaim Tavoi Eli and it means and if you'll come to me. So here's the first one. I want to be
שהרחיק את לבה, אני תמיד חיכיתי לך. והנה היום הזה הגיע. עכשיו מבטיח שאף פעם לא תהיי לבד. ואם פתאום תיעלמי, אחכה כל הלילה, ואלחש בתפילה, שאליי תחזרי. ואם תבואי אליי, נשאר כל הלילה, ואלחש לך מילי, שתדעי שאין לי שאלה. ובבוקר תראי, נשאר ביחד, הולכים את הדרך הזאת, ותמיד יד ביד. ואם תבואי אליי, נשאר כל הלילה, ואלחש לך מילי, שתדעי שאין לי שאלה. ובבוקר תראי, נשאר ביחד. So that was one of the first of the few Zehuze songs. So Shlomi Shabbat surprised Israel September 9th, 2021 with a new song called When I Call You. He is joined by one of the oldest duos in Israel, Orin Chen and Stelos. In keeping with the atmosphere of Slichot that comes every year during the months of Elul and Tishrei, The trio's new song feels more like a prayer or hymn, one a lot of people can relate to the message. The, the lyrics to the new song were written by a not Hollander, and the chorus was first hummed by Oren Chen in one of his meetings with Shlomi Shabbat and Stelos. And Shlomi Shabbat himself was... The one who finally produced the, the melody inspired by the religious atmosphere that was his grandparents' house and while visiting the synagogue. Thank <laughs> you. 
By the way, on a lot of the Friday morning um, radio programs, there's a there's one or two stations that play a lot of Orin Ken and Stelos's music on it. So I, I just wanted to share that with you, so you know. So in 2002, a shy little eight-year-old girl from Beersheba stood on the reality stage of the School of Music and took first place in the finals. Her teacher, singer, and creator, Moshe Peretz, who noticed her, her rare talent, sponsored her even after the show ended and released the song Little Girl with her, a duet that became a hysterical hit with the words, come on, little girl, Stay, stay, you, you will have a safe place here. We have a way for you to learn how to be everything you want to be. This is how Agam, Agam Buchvot got her start in music. And by the way, I, I do hear this song almost every Friday on the radio. בואי ילדה קטנה, תשאירי לי, שיא את קולך על כנף הרוח. כל שידעתי, לא מצאתי, כל שמלטף את מילותיי. לפסוע אל האור, לעוף כמו ציפור. Yes, 
Pretty good song there. All right, so this is one of the one of the most famous songs um, for Rosh Hashanah, I think. And this is this song came from Kadam Eurovision in 1991. The final was held the the 27th of March in 1991. Twelve songs were performed. This song finished third. And the group's name is Shir, just like the Hebrew word, which translates to sing. And this is one song that I always hear every year. And there's a very another very famous Israeli dance to it. And we dance it almost every year around Rosh Hashanah. So I thought I'd share that.
So let's see. Okay. So two of Israel's most beloved singers on us basically collaborated on a special hit. Shlomi Shabbat and Rotem Kohn released the, the the signal the single Even If I Was Wrong in 2021. The song is part of the Shlomi Shabbat and Friends 3 project. And here's a little a little bit about Rotem Cohen. His music and rhythms are Latin inspired. His poems are characterized by profound and narrative texts. And he has written and composed for renowned artists and even won the Akum Award in 2012 with the song When Another, composed by Yael Golan. And in 2015, he won the Birthright of the Year Award and the Akum Award this time as an artist. In December 2017, he released a rare collaboration with Latin pop, pop star Enrique Iglesias on a Hebrew version of, of, of a song, um, Sublime La Radio. Zarakti lo pam im kol ashow veadrama. Amart li milim kashot veze toch kedei shat kama. Yadati shat oevet misham baker. Arelo tim tzei echad kamoni. Ukshegat vela yafa kemo emesh. Kol aronot itach avchuliot ashemesh. לוקח עוזו על הים, איך נפגשנו לא סתם, אני בוחר אותך כל בוקר. איך את הולכת, את האור שלך הכנסת אל תפילותיי, את הכוח שלי לקום על רגליי, טעיתי. איך את הולכת, כשגופי נותר כפור משתיקתך? גם אם טעיתי זה לא אומר שאני אלך, תגידי, איך את הולכת? וכשהגעת אליי פצועה כדי לנוח, כשהמפרש שלך איבד לו את הרוח ידעתי שאת תרצי יותר ממילים, אני מוכן עכשיו להיות כך. סיפרת שקשה לך שאני לא נפתח, דיברת על הקלות ועל לוותר. 
ירדו לך דמעות, בואי נודה שלא מעט. הרי לא תמצאי אחד שאוהב אותך יותר. איך את הולכת, את האור שלך הכנסת אל תפילותיי. את הכוח שלי לקום על רגליי, טעיתי. איך את הולכת, כשגופי נותר כפור משתיקתך. גם אם טעיתי, זה לא אומר שאני אלך, תגידי. איך את הולכת? או, איך את הולכת? את האור שלך הכנסת אל תפילותיי. את הכוח שלי לקום על רגליי, טעית. איך את הולכת, כשגופי נותר כפור משתיקתך? גם אם טעיתי זה לא אומר שאני הולך, תגידי, איך את הולכת? אז איך את הולכת? Pretty nice song there. All right. So I played a 45-second clip earlier of Sagiv Cohen singing this song. And here, this is a piyut, and, and, and that's a Jewish liturgical po poem, usually designated to be sung, chanted, or recited during a religious service. And this is recited on Yom Kippur, by the entire audience as one, as one person or by the cantor and the congregation praying alternatively or by the cantor alone. It is customary to recite th this in a setting even though it takes place, it takes the place of, of a confession. So in accordance, according to Halakha, one must stand while reciting this. And let's see, so, and The singers is Zion Golan, and he was attracted to Yemenite singing and began performing at family events as an amateur singer at various events, making sure to correct, correctly pronounce the Yemenite pronunciation. And his debut album was released in 1980 as a double album. And the other singer is Avinu Madina, um, he, um, is, he was, he's an Israeli singer, songwriter, composer, is Israel Prize winner, and he contributed greatly to making Mizrahi music an um, in, inseparable part of Hebrew music. When he won the Israel Prize in 2022, the committee noted that um, he, he has brought about Uh, he's, he, he made a significant breakthrough in Israeli music. And most of his time was devoted to developing and establishing the style of Israeli music that stems from traditional Jewish roots and culture. Oh, 
can definitely watch the the rest of that because i had to cut it short in the middle there so later on feel free to visit my website and, and log on and you could watch the, the the last little bit of that so last time we talked about um the revivo project and this time i'm i i decided to bring them back again and in this video they aren't just the three amigos of israeli music they're joined with the, the gentleman on the screen there, that's Harrell Scott. And he is an Israeli singer and songwriter. He represented Israel in, in the Eurovision Song Contest in 2010 with the song Milin, which means words. He's been singing and performing in public since he was a child. And at the age of six, he won a children's song festival competition while still in elementary school, he appeared on national television. And as a teenager, he was the lead singer for both of his city's high school bands. His, let's see, his um, debut album was self-titled Harrell Scott was released in July, 2006. It produced five hit singles, including the romantic ballad Va'at and You which was the number one song of the year on both of the major Israeli year-end Hebrew song charts, which th this year that chart just came out. So this album has been certified platinum in Israel. He followed up with the album with a concert tour, which surpassed 200 concert shows, a milestone in Israeli music. And this song that 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 Revivo and Harrell Scott are singing is a, a super famous Israeli dance choreographed by Shmuley Govari, which which I love dancing with Shlomo with with with, with uh, Shmuley Govari um, on numerous occasions over the past thirty years, and the song is called it's called Kol Nidarai, All My Vows or All My Words.
כל נדריי, כל מילותיי, נשאתי אותם בכל משעולי. נשאתי אותם צרורים ממיתי, לך הוא הצרור אהבתי. כל אשר אמרתי וכל אשר אומר, האהבה היא נדר, נדר שהופר. כל אשר אמרתי וכל אשר אומר, האהבה היא נדר, נדר שהופר. כל נדריי, כל תפילותיי, כאבתי אותך בכל שבועותיי. יצרתי מילים, כתובות בתוכי, שבועת אמונים אהבתי. כל אשר אמרתי, וכל אשר אומר, close to the end here so this song is this is another song written by Idan Rachel and Doran Medali the songwriter behind the the Eurovision winner song toy among many others and this song brings 35 of Israel's best known and loved artists spanning the different de- decades and genres. So the song was produced through the initiative of the popular Gogolats radio station operated by Israel, Israel Defense Forces Radio in an appeal to encourage unity and, and consolidation. And so the song talks about unity amongst, amongst the Israelis de- descending from the 12 tribes of Israel The title of the song itself references a well-known verse from the Bible, Brethren to dwell together in unity. And this and the song was the official song of Yom Ha'atzma'u in 2019. And at the end of the song, you can hear the, the president of the state of Israel repeating the chorus. Also for Yom Ha'atzmut in 2019, a tribe of, of Israeli dance choreographers 
joined from all over the world from Australia, USA, and Israel to create a dance to this piece of music. And it was taught and danced all over the place that year, as well as the year before that when they did a different one. זה בית, כאן זה לב, ואותך אני לא עוזב. אבותינו השורשים, ואנחנו הפרחים, המנגינות, שבט אחים ואחיות. He is one of the, of the Jewish music's most successful singers. 
He was born and raised in France, and he began singing at the age of eight. And at the age of 13, he began writing songs, composing and recording them in his home. He learned how to play the guitar at, at age 18. And he's singing with the Solomon brothers. They're, they're um, three youngest brothers of seven children in a multi-instrumentalist uh, family, high, highly talented Solom Solomon family. Music was a set was a central and an ever present force in the family. And this song was part of a collaboration for Unite to Heal. And the song has been around and and it's all about coming home. There are parts of it in English in the song. And it's a it's a nice mix of Hebrew and English. Wake me up, it's time to go Been down this road before and I know There's danger up ahead Recalculate and turn around I'm heading home, I'm homeward bound No, I'm not gonna walk that path no more I know, I know it's not too late No, my past won't seal my fate You'll be there With arms wide open No matter what I've done wrong no matter how long I've been gone, you'll be there to let me back in. Firu she asinu mashua, u mochel v'soleach, mochel v'soleach. Moshit yadon le'ezav, v'noten berachamav, et ha'koach l'teken, v'nashuv elav. Shamai <laughs> So this song was released in 1988 by Haim Moshe. The lyrics express Haim's strong conviction and dedication to a relationship or a specific person. 
the first line, now it's coming and for the better indicates that something positive is about to happen. This this video is from the Moshiko Stern show in 2021. I I was personally introduced to this song as an because it's an Israeli partner dance created by Donny Dasa, and it was his son David's wedding dance. <laughs> אז הנה זה בא, סוף סוף אצלנו גרסה אקוסטית מיוחדת לנשבע חיים משה עם גיידה באולפן, צאו לדרך. That one is is uh, really great. It's a great song. 
I, I still want to know why all the time I always see um, him wearing sunglasses when he's singing with these all, the, all these other people. I haven't figured that out yet. So this is Zehuze. And by the way, my producers told me we have about three slides left and a very special slide at the end that's about 35 seconds long. So that's what the producers told me. So this song is another Zehuze song, Halavai. And it could be uh, equated to English expressions like, I hope so, or if only. And let's see. In Hebrew, one would say to a sick friend, Halavai, we hope you get well soon. Or when asked, will you be home for the holidays? Answer Halavai. For the Jewish people whose collective memory includes a 2000 year diaspora, countless pogroms, genocide, and the creation of a nation from scratch, a, a word like Halavai took on a lot of meaning when an Israeli says halavai, it subconsciously conveys not simply a wish, but a great hope and, and a longing for better days. A prayer for one's children and a belief that something better is just around the bend. And in 1986, the popular singer Boaz Sh Sharabi hoped to represent Israel in, in the Eurovision Song Contest with his song Halavai. He lost the prelim contest for that year, but his song became a local hit and and dug the word Halavai even deeper into the the Hebrew folklore. So here is Zehuza singing Halavai. Halevai, ume anan terega lelu keshe. Halevai, shela olam haze yesh takana. Halevai, ve yom itzmach mitoch sufa goeshet. Halevai, ve lo tovad laad hamatana. Halevai, ume'anan tered alenu keshe. Halevai, shelaolam haze yesh takana. Halevai, ve'yom itzmach mitoch sufa goeshet. Halevai, ve'lo tovad la'ad amatana. Halevai, halevai, shehamidbar yatzmiach esef deshe. Halevai, ve'od neshev betzela te'ena. Halevai, <laughs> Halevai, ולא ננטוש את דרך התקווה. הלוואי, הלוואי, לאדם יהיה רחומת ערב. הלוואי, שיש סיכוי אחד לאהבה. הלוואי, שלא נכאב לאיש הכי יאהב. הלוואי, הלוואי, ויפתחו שוב שערי גן עדן. הלוואי. That was, that was pretty cool. You can, there's a little bit more at the end. You can go back again and watch that, the rest of the clip too. Okay. So we have um, two more here. This is almost at the end, and then we have a very special slide at the end. 
Um, two of the most successful and beloved artists in Israel, Shlomi Shabbat and Moshe Peretz, collaborated on, on a song, Close, which was written and composed by Tal Segev for a musical arrangement. A meeting of the uh, of two of the biggest and most successful artists in Mizrahi and Israeli music. And this was this, the, the tease from last time's um, presentation that I found the song and I just didn't fit it in there, so I stuck it in this one. מה לא ניסיתי לעשות בכדי שתרגישי שאת עולמי? את הדברים הכי טובים שבי לך נתתי רק שתדעי. לשקוע מול השגיאות ולתת לים לדבר, בלי לפחד מה יגידו, הרי גילינו הכל. קובי, אנחנו כמו חלקי מילים עומדים ברגש, ולא שורד יותר הכל ברור כשמש. פשוט מאושרים. גם אם יגיעו המקשקשים, לא יצליחו אותנו להזיז. לאף אחד אין אהבה כזאת, זה שלנו חזקים מתמיד. Okay, it's uh, almost the end here. 40 of Israel's top singers and rappers joined together at the end of 2020 to sing a song of strength and unity. In, in the face of, of the coronavirus. This incredible song was created to remind us that as hard as it is, things will get better. And don't worry, we've got this Katana Lamy. 
You can also find this on, on, a, on a bunch of synagogues websites and a lot of different places. This version was translated um, by Israel Hour Radio. So you have the English translation on the screen, which is great. של שמש על הים התיכון הגלים פה לא שקטים זה אומר המון מהחול של הנגב ועד החרמון בית חם ובו כולם אומרים שלום מול כל מכשול וכל חידה פה תקוותנו לא עבדה. מה יוליד יום זאת לא הולדה, ועל הכל נאמר תודה. כמו שהיה, ככה יהיה, עברנו הכל, נעבור גם את זה. לא יפלו פנינו, זה קטן עלינו. כמו שהיה, ככה יהיה, עברנו הכל, נעבור גם את זה. לא יפלו פנינו, זה קטן עלינו. קפה במרפסת, ריחות של שבת. איך כולנו פה אותו דבר כמעט? לשמור על הדגל, עוד פעם אחת.
קטן עלינו. All right, thank you all for coming. Here is my last and favorite slide of this presentation, and I hope you all enjoyed today's presentation. Thank <laughs> you.